Hi, my name is uh, John Salzman. I'm a consultant knee surgeon from Germany as well as in uh, Switzerland. Today I'm going to talk about the AutoCAD procedure and the associated scientific background. According to my consideration, also to current evidence, the best way to repair cartilage defects is by using chondrocytes. Because when you have traumatic or degenerative uh, cartilage defects, the chondrocytes and mostly the cartilage is uh, vital. If you cut that cartilage at the back table or using specific devices, and this is also underlined by very good evidence, you activate cartilage means the proliferation of the chondrocytes is going up. Furthermore, the chondrocytes are putting down more extracellular matrix with the idea to fill up an existing lesion. Furthermore, could show in our own model that besides the ongoing vitality after cutting of the cartilage, you see a potent outgrowth of the chondrocytes from the chips in vitro, also in different biomaterials. The current idea to collect cartilage is under arthroscopic settings using small shaver instruments, soft tissue shaver devices, where you can easily collect cartilage from the defect edge, where at the same time you stabilize the defect edge, you activate the defect edge, and furthermore you collect location-specific cartilage, which you can easily then collect in the graft net tissue collector device, where you always can monitor how much cartilage you have previously collected. In a nationwide across Switzerland multi-center study, we compared defective cartilage to defect edge cartilage and found out that defect edge cartilage has a very high chondrogenic potential for further implantation, much better than from the center of the defect. Eduardo Bonasia showed nicely that the smaller the pieces are, the larger is the surface and the better is the outgrowth potential, which is then again clearly connected to an ECM production, which is the final goal in cartilage repair. You are transplanting not naked chondrocytes, but you are transplanting chondrons. Chondrons means uh, chondrocytes plus just adjacent uh, paracellular matrix, PCM, and many important things for chondrogenic proliferation as well as differentiation are going on in the PCM, such as gene expression, growth factors, metabolism, and so on. So you are transplanting chondrons and not naked chondrocytes. And more current evidence has nicely shown a clear benefit when you directly compare transplanting chondrons to naked chondrocytes. Uh, in combination of that said, minced cartilage via autocart procedure has a very, very high biologic uh, potential. And that biologic potential has already been uh, sh nicely shown by David Frisbee in a publication uh, from 2009, where he directly compared a modified ACI, meaning autologous chondrocyte implantation, to a minced cartilage procedure, a lower right image KAIS procedure, where he already showed the high biologic potential of the minced cartilage with equal results directly comparing to ACI. And this is a clinical case of an autocard procedure at the medial femoral condyle with a full thickness chondral defect, which has been filled up with a minced cartilage, which previously have been fixed with autologous uh, fluid. And you can see here the very good stability for further on quick rehabilitation. So my take home message is that AutoCAD is a purely autologous homologous procedure. It is a one step, one surgeon, one OR and very quick surgery. It is arthroscopically feasible in most cases. You have no substantial change of tissue and you are transplanting location specific fully differentiated cartilage. Thank you very much.